exploring here in the capital, so I'm going to check out this museum. Time to check out this museum. <laughs> Museum. A lot of beautiful and interesting paintings as well as uh, sculptures and uh, like antiques. to the next floor. see the gardens so unique art in this nice museum and now uh, walking around the park a little bit on my way to other places here the capital of Estonia very pleasant few minute walk from the park so Estonian writers very colorful and bright mural especially uh, now in the winter season you can see giant contrast An eight minute walk
have a shopping center here. So you can do some shopping before or after uh, your trip or your voyage. Next museum, Museum of Estonian Architecture. The history of the architecture here. difficult uh, getting materials for private houses so it often took between five to ten years to complete and people didn't want to wait that long so they moved in uh, well before the house was finished and there would be construction happening on a daily basis so a design 1983, so not that long ago, and this one's even uh, younger, 1987. So some different uh, designs, Estonian private houses. So now in the basement, explore space. especially compared to the previous ones. So you have to take off your shoes here. It's a very different um, area and style than the previous two. Different uh, things to explore. So I'm gonna go in here. Interesting question. Does architecture have a smell? Never really thought of that. But over here, um, you have different um, smells. You just like pump it. And uh, smell and see if it uh, helps trigger uh, some kind of uh, architecture or maybe an area uh, in which there was some construction. It's very, very cool and interesting. A lot of different things uh, you can do on this floor. How can you tame natural forces? What if we turn wind into an architectural element? And can you make a wall move? All right, going to try with a hair dryer, blow dryer, turn it on. Sure. 
different decades. first museum and now going to go to the final museum that I want to go to here in Tallinn, the capital of Estonia. Here we are at the final uh, museum of Pronto. So let's go check it out. Okay, here we go. So here we are. So it tells you how to do it uh, in different uh, languages. I guess this is for one or two people for two minutes. Uh, the star difficulty one, so I think easy. Uh, but there's no one on the other side, so I'll just do it by myself. So I just crank right here. So you can see the lights like flicker from time to time. exercise as well. So here you have a virtual reality. So I'm gonna put it on and uh, check it out. Other people are doing it. Different games. So all these different uh, virtual reality games, very fun. Uh, different. I haven't had much experience with it, so I'm gonna try this one out. So many different uh, activities for all ages. different things uh, in the main floor. Uh, inside a uh, submarine with a nice little desk and a uh, school typewriter. different games to try. It's a different uh, experience, unique experience for sure. You can also do some exercise here. Let's see what I can do one-handed. out of cardboard so you can add it even to the museum create your own and have it uh, be for small kids
different museums, all very, very different, all very fun and interesting uh, to me. towards the city center. So again, down another alley that doesn't look like much and going to uh, check out this restaurant. A restaurant uh, Strauss. Maybe I'm not saying it correctly, but uh, here, Zen House Restaurant. A nice place, a bit fancy, but uh, I hope it'll be good here. Saw a little Gibbs from the chef. Wow, what a lunch, a nice, nice, nice lunch. Lobster bisque was like the best uh, lobster bisque that I've ever had. <clears throat> and my main course uh, is like venison and uh, like these uh, chips, like kind of like acorn peppercorn chips, um, really, really good. Homemade bread, really, really good. Everything was uh, awesome. Surface was, service was awesome. Um, <clears throat> like the presentation was really, really cool. And the atmosphere was very nice. So, <clears throat> to walk it off a little bit and then uh, go to a couple more spots. Just walking along. I'm near the airport now, uh, walking away from the airport uh, to go to two more spots here in Estonia. All right, so I made it to the first uh, spot I wanted to go, the Umbrella Fountain. So in the warmer months, uh, Works like a regular fountain, except uh, for its uniqueness of the shape. I wanted to come check it out. You see uh, in the background is a mural of a woman uh, holding a umbrella and uh, she has a Ukrainian flag tattoo on her cheek. Yes. So from this side, has a unique building, like some sort of a technology building. Final place that I want to visit 
I'm just uh, very close to here. Just a very short walk. Just straight and around the corner to the left. And the last place I wanted to check out here was the Ukrainian girl art. Get a little bit closer look. So yes, this is where I wanted to go and uh, see it. So yeah, it's just uh, around the corner. I take the first left. I got a at the road that you can, the first left, and then uh, just keep going straight for a couple blocks. Awesome. All right, now time to head to the airport here and say goodbye. It's just a Finland, other, other ones, uh, Germany, France, Italy, maybe uh, Austria, and uh, maybe uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it is Latvia and Belarus and Hungary. Flag flying high as the sun starts to go down as I go to departures and say farewell. Well, thank you so much for traveling with me, for traveling with Sam, and venture here uh, in Estonia, and it concludes uh, my mini vacation, but made the most out of it. Racked up a lot and lot of steps, and uh, yeah, it was amazing, eventful. Um, great food and if you like this video please give a like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, if you have already thank you so much and write a comment if you wish and until next time thank you for traveling with Sam goodbye